Look at this. I can tell she's got kids. <laughs> <laughs> the creature from the Black Lagoon. It is a overcast day in Petaluma, California, which is wine country. It's in Sonoma County. And I am with Dan and Michelle Auk, Sweetwater Landscaping. This is a beautiful Victorian home that we have, a pond that you put in how many years ago? Uh, I gotta do math, four. Four years ago. And I'm Greg with Sock the Ponga. This is my channel, Greg with Sock the Ponga, and it's all about showcasing people living the aquascape lifestyle. So without any further ado, let's check out this That's beautiful it. pond. So yeah, so nice. Small backyard, big impact of the water feature. Definitely. So is this a is this a little like uh, guest house over here? Yeah, a little guest house. You really literally positioned a water feature in between the main home, a guest house, and a patio. So this was a tight area to work in. Very very tight. So you Sorry. build it. I he, build it. He he, he sells it and yes. then you build it. Yes. Isn't that awesome? Okay. It's not a bad deal. So Sorry Colette that. wanted a small pond. She wanted an ecosystem. She wanted fish for her children. Yes. Just like with the children's museum, the attachment there to science. Uh -huh. I see. And um, I see the chicken coop yeah. back here. I see the chicken coop. And now, when I first saw this area, instantly my brain went to pond this waterfall because it's such a small area. Uh huh. We had to deal with the tree here. We just had a lot going on in a little area, and a pond this yep. really made sense. Yep. But she didn't want a pond this. She wanted an ecosystem. Right. Wanted an ecosystem. It was definitely a challenge to squeeze this in. Let me just see it. I mean, you could literally. This would be a bed and breakfast. Right? Yeah. Go on VRBO and have a and have a little seat right outside. But that's a beautiful little waterfall. And what's so cool about this is this thing is probably only 15 inches high. So it's a 15 inch high waterfalls in a little little slope in the yard, but it looks so natural. What you don't want to do is build things up. That would look no natural. This is sunken in. Look at this. I can tell she's got kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the creature from the black lagoon. What's up guys? So what's so cool for me is you've got a Victorian home and a yard that is probably 60 feet by 35 feet. And yet look at how much is going on. They've got a guest house. They've got obviously the pond. They've got a patio. They've got a little deck. They've got an outdoor seating area. And this to me is the definition of living the aquascape lifestyle. There's so much going on in a small space, yet that space feels so much bigger. The reason that I'm doing these vlogs is I want to inspire people to live the aquascape lifestyle. And here's a classic example of doing that. Hi, nice to meet you, Greg. Yeah. Sally, yeah, Greg. nice to meet nice you to too. Meet you. Thanks for your hospitality. Sure, absolutely. No, these guys do such great work. I think we can do to highlight their work. We are in. Awesome. So. Oh, wow. Look at all these flowers. Beautiful. It really just, is. Just, Boy, yeah. It just draws you in. Gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. When you have a slope like this in the backyard, are you kidding me? <laughs> Even even I can make a nice looking waterfall here, buddy. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is gorgeous.
I love the bench and the seating area up there. It just yeah. draws your eye up there. Yes, it does. You can walk up there. It's coming right out of the hillside. Spectacular. How would a project like this turn to me with eight tons of boulders, liner, lights, pumps, filters? What would have run like this from Seawater Landscape? So from scratch, us providing all yeah. the stone, um, we would be in about $15,000. Yeah, so for $15,000, you could completely transform a space. People spend that for a statue in their yard. Yes. And a statue would not create this kind of sound, this kind of interest, this kind of buzz. And, I, and they love it. And that's what it's all about. It's about creating people's paradise. She's obviously a gardener. I mean, what a beautiful piece of property here. But a beautiful garden without water is just not alive to me. So that sound makes us alive. And then the wildlife and the birds, the things that get attracted to this, this changes the space. I mean, look at the seat, the seating area right down there at the bottom. I was just thinking, I just need a coffee and we can just sit back here. You are a very talented gardener. I love all the flowers. <laughs> It wasn't me. This Kathy. is a little sanctuary you have it here. It really is. Is your husband, or is that you a golfer? My husband's a golfer. <laughs> yeah. And how does he like this? Is this something he, for both of you? Oh my gosh, he absolutely. I think it was actually his idea. So I'm going around as the, the yeah. manufacturer of the equipment. Yeah. And I'm profiling how people live the opposite right. lifestyle because. Right. I'm trying to showcase this. I mean, what do people yeah. say that come to your house for the first time and they see this? Um, they walk right up to it and go, wow, this is really great. I want one. Uh -huh. Everybody wants <laughs> yeah, a water exactly, feature. Yeah. They just don't know it yet. Exactly. And then, you know, we sit here and we have our cocktails or whatever, or when it's later, we have a fire on and we've got that going and we've got the lights. And now these lights up, uh -huh. those are new. Mm -hmm. So actually when those are all lit up and the fountains lit up, it's like, a resort. Yeah. Which is really nice. Look at all the flowers and all the colors. I mean, this is October. I mean, this is when things are supposed to be not blooming. Nice Japanese maple. Wow. What a property. Oh, he's got a, this is where he chips from, huh? Does he chip from yeah, here? He he's got the water hazard. He's got to hit it over the water hazard. Exactly. Yeah. That would be a, that would be a sand wedge right there. What a spectacular view. Spectacular views all the way from up here. Yeah, just a gorgeous backyard living area. And that's what I love. I love seeing unique water features because every water feature is built exactly the same way, but every setting is different, every rock is unique. So each water feature is a unique work of art, one of a kind, custom creation. And then of course, how they decorate them, all of the landscape. This woman has so many flowers, just absolutely beautiful yard. And this is what I love about my job, going out and exploring and seeing new people with awesome properties, beautiful water features, and seeing how they choose to live the aquascape lifestyle. So this is uh, Sonoma County. So we've been passing as many wine fields as I've ever seen in my entire life. This is actually my first time I'm up in this area, just incredibly beautiful. Oh, look at this, apple trees. Whoa. How are you doing, sir? The pond guy, Greg Whitstock. What's your name, Greg? Yes. Oh, nice to meet you, Greg. What a beautiful property you have here. Is it you that's a gardener, your wife? I'm afraid I'm responsible. That is awesome. Can I see this pond that you had? Well, sure, it's right over here. This never gets old. I love seeing these things. Oh, look at that, pergola. I haven't seen this in a long time. Yeah. Oh, this is gorgeous. Your little paradise back here, huh?
retired dentist, this has been a passion for yours to do the landscaping and everything this, else, huh? This is, yeah, this is my retirement gift. You certainly are living it up here. Get some beautiful fish too, some big yeah. guys down there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is a gorgeous setting. Boy, what a beautiful area. How long have you lived here? 44 years. 44 years! <laughs> okay, so what inspired you to get a water feature? I put the gazebo in about over 20 years ago. Okay. And I always said I wanted to have a little water feature around it. Well, you did that, that's and for sure. I even thought about <clears throat> what my design was going to be and everything. If Dan had the magic uh, solution biologically, he knew yep. what was how going the ecosystem. on, mm -hmm. how the ecosystem should be, and I said, he's my man, and so I had him come out, and he and Michelle uh -huh. did the great work. Well, well, Michelle did the work, and he pointed, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I took, I took Some pictures. things don't change. I took pictures. <laughs> Look at these fish. Wow, some gorgeous ogons. Look at that. So we have a fish cave running uh, from this belly into the. Oh next yeah, side. so it's like a, like two sections almost. Exactly. Is this the rituals you feed them over here? I usually feed them right here. Because... Yeah. So what do you got here? This is a book you put together of the picture. Oh, look yeah, at this. This is, this is uh, some of the pictures we. This we is the before. Whoa! Look at that. What a difference. So that's the hole that you uh, you had dug for you. Right, yeah. That. So Michelle, this is when you guys came in yeah. after that hole had, right. had been dug, right? Right. Look at that. Quite a difference. And so how was you, how'd you build this? Kind of carved out here. We had everything ready to carve. We have a fish cave right here. Yeah. How huh, that's in between. And then the, the steppers step across. Yep. Beautiful step stones. Yeah, yeah. I love those. Look at wow. the irises. I love it. See, and, and this is one of the things, but as a gardener, there's different things blooming at different times, right? right? This literally feels like I'm at a Garden of Eden. This is just incredible. And then, of course, the hardscape. You need to have an area to view it from. And look at this. That's their view. Who would not want to sit in a gazebo when this is what your view looks like? That sound, those fish, the plants, the wildlife, and then it's a vanishing edge right over here. Just spectacular. Oh, everything is so pristine. This is a dream. And of course, who's gonna come to a pond like this and not want to walk across when you have these stepping stones? And then you got the fish going here. Look at this walking path. I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. You just wanna really cross this. Fish are happy. All the original fish, they've been all in here for five years doing just fine in this three foot deep aquascape ecosystem, rock and gravel filled pond. I mean, look at the walls with the ferns growing in them. And when we have a gardener that takes care of our water features, and that's truly how I feel. I really do feel like this is our water features because it's built with the aquascape ecosystem approach. It's a 20 product, 20 step approach. And Dan and Michelle are certified aquascape managers, which means every water feature they build is with the same construction process as the others. Absolutely beautiful. But we've been just sitting in here talking, relaxing and this is truly his therapy this entire garden that's what it's about it's about living the aquascape lifestyle look at a canna here are you kidding me look at how gorgeous this is just this frame right here i don't even want to talk i just want to enjoy it just spectacular notice the plants in the landscaping you don't want to know where the water ends and the land begins and having plants that hang over the edges like this just soften up the entire space so some you have rocks some you have plants back to the rocks waterfalls all the different little elements combined to really soften up and naturalize a space it's just not all a ring of pearls rocks i literally feel like i'm a little in a little garden of eden back here and what's so fun for me is to see my customers customers how they enjoy living the aquascape lifestyle hey if you want to inspire more people to live the aquascape lifestyle like comment and share this video so more people can be exposed to what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about i love my job